All right, this is a project I'm working on right now. Uh, I made a five foot long piece of bamboo here. You can see the knuckles going on. And right now, I am I laid out the slices at the top here. I just got the first cut done. I'm using a cutting wheel. Uh, it's segmented into eight sections. And uh, once those are cut, that'll be able to receive the pipe. This is going to be a tiki torch. So this is where the uh, pipe's going to go to put in your canister. Uh, what a, I've done a test piece already, and that's this guy right here. And it was a failure, but I did learn a lot. One of the things I learned, whenever you're cutting with the cutting wheel uh, on a piece of pipe, it basically becomes real flippy floppy whenever you start getting more than like five or six cuts in it. So what I'm doing now is I'm only taking the cut to about an inch to the end and I accounted for that inch whenever I made this knuckle here. So basically it's going to stay a, a pipe. If you cut all the way to the end it's like trying to get a piece of uh, eighth inch by half and cutting a, uh, cutting a line down the center. It'll wiggle and waggle everywhere and and it's not very safe. So by doing this, it makes it stay rigid and it makes your cuts a lot easier. Uh, set up in my uh, post vise here, I do have a little stand here to keep it level uh, whenever you're putting pressure during your cut. If you don't have that on there, the whole thing will want to move and everything and possibly if you don't have your vise tight enough, it'll pop through. and Personally, I'm not tightening this down too, too much because uh, it's really not heavy, heavy-duty pipe, so I don't want to squish it. But uh, what I'm going for, it's going to be something totally different, but let me come out here and show you what I'm uh, basically trying to replicate. And it's going to be this tiki torch here. And you can see the bamboo. There's the knuckles and these are what I'm cutting out right now. And then I have my pipe that's going to be in, on the end of the bamboo there and uh, I'm going to try and replicate that in copper as much as I can depending on how uh, much of a pain it is. I'm going to probably have to just do it my own way and do a different style. But I am going to replicate these wraps here with the copper wire. 12 gauges I'm going to use and uh, go for it. So. This is my current project. All right, all of the uh, segments have been cut, and all I have to do is cut off the end there. I'll have pictures of what that looks like. All right, I just got done cutting off the end there, and uh, this the the bow on here that's totally natural. As you're cutting it, all the energy stored in there from the heat has a lot of tension. So as you're cutting it, these things will pop loose, and uh, it kind of already opens it up as m almost as much as I need. What I'm going to be putting in there to hold the reservoir for the fuel is this, seven inches long, three inch diameter pipe, uh, eighth inch thick, I don't know what schedule that is, I can't remember, but uh, basically that's going to fit all the way inside there, and this is what's going to, again, hold the uh, canister that holds all your fuel. So uh, I have to go in now. And all every all these have little, basically razor blades from using the cutting wheel. I have to file all those off, and I have uh, my files, of course. But after the files, I use some of this strip uh, sandpaper, and I'll just go through each one. And uh, the way I had, I'd done it last time, I've done it last time, was uh, to put this guy over here underneath and clamp it and working with this being secured it's not moving around because you're trying to file that it's going all over so I'll clamp it to that and that'll hold it sturdy and then I can go and file it rotate it next one rotate it all the way through all eight of them so uh, that's how you do that part all right I just got done cleaning up all the legs here uh, that's what I'm calling them I guess I'm calling them legs but I uh, got all those clean. None of them are sharp anymore. You can touch them without getting sliced open. Um, got the knuckles all done. And you want to leave a little bit of a uh, 
like a stagger, I guess you would call it. You don't have to be perfectly straight, because that's not what bamboo looks like. But uh, now all I have to do is get the uh, pipe set in there, and then uh, start decorating it. All right, I just uh, bent these legs over here around the pipe. Uh, they're just bent, uh, you know, kind of halfway or whatever. Um, what I'm going to do next is I have this pipe clamp, hose clamp, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to bring that up. This is real, still real hot. But I'm going to bring that all the way up to the top, tighten it down, and then I can hit it with the torch one more time to allow everything to mold into place. All right, I have the uh, first one tack um, soldered. I'm just tacking them right now just so I can get them on. The second one's ready to slip in. Um, once I have them all uh, in there, then I'll work from this end to the actual end of the copper piece. And uh, once all the pieces are soldered, the flux leaves a residue, and the way to get rid of that residue is to soak it in water. So you get a nice bucket of clean water and uh, kind of have it soak in there for half an hour or so, and it'll come right off. You can use a wire brush, a little wire brush if you want, or just a cloth. All right, I have uh, all the pieces of copper soldered in now. Uh, right now it's cooling down. I have these little tips right here that I have to grind down. Um, some The ones that ended up being the outside on the top are going to be loose, but the rest are tight. And again, I just use this uh, pipe clamp to hold them all down in place while I soldered them. All right, uh, I just took it out of the water. It sat in there for about a half an hour. Um, all the flux is gone. It, it basically comes right off, and I did use a little rag to wipe off anywhere where there used to be flux to make sure it's all gone. Now you can see that the uh, solder, the silver solder, is poking out there a little bit. All I have to do is uh, sand that off. Uh, that'll be gone. You'll never even see it. All right. I got my first wrap on. There's one more to do. All I did was drill two holes just just bigger than the, the wire. Um, I didn't want it to be the exact same, otherwise it'd be too hard to get inside the hole. But basically, uh, once you start wrapping it, when you get to the end, cut off your wire and leave it about an inch or so and you, you make a coil and you hammer it into that hole and that little coil it's going to go inside the pipe and kind of get locked so this thing ain't never coming off um, I just want to show you how I did that. There it is! It's in the ground everything's looking good, the canister fit in there perfectly and that's it. That's my tiki torch how cool is that? And uh, one thing that I didn't make out of any sort of metal was the cap and the canister of course. The cap is actually made out of bamboo but uh, you just put that right on top to stop it of course and it just hangs down there and that's it. That thing is never gonna break. It'll probably be there for a good 50 years and that's awesome. Thank you for watching uh, Govan and Ironworks and hopefully uh, you guys get inspired and make some of these your own because they're really cool, man.